Aloha! Ed here again with the unboxing of Oceanic Time Warner Cable Mobile's newest device, the Sierra Wireless W802, aka the IG2. So let's open up the box and check it out. It comes in a nice little pink packaging, personal mobile hotspot, Sierra Wireless IG2, 4G, 3G mobile hotspot, from of course, Time Warner Cable. Let's get this out of the box. First thing you notice off the bat, smaller than our original Intelligo side by side comparison. And we'll go we'll go over the dimensions a little later. Um, so here's a box. It comes with a nice little rubbery piece on the back. We'll open up this. Comes with a mobile internet start guide and also the end user warranty documentation. In the box itself is the, the battery here. Whoa! Uh, so we'll go, go ahead and open that up. And also, I'm not going to open these because I'm going to drop it and shake the camera like I did earlier. But anyway, this is the uh, AC mount. This is the connector. You can, it's a USB connector so you can plug it in directly to your computer or you can plug it into here and plug it into your AC at home. So we'll put these all away or onto the side. And why don't we put the battery in. Um, supposedly it has a 35% faster on and off speed than the original IntelliGo. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to plug it in. Or there we go. Uh, pop this in. I'm going to side by side this puppy with the original Intelligo. So they both came on and powering up. And while it's doing that, why don't we go through over some of the technical specifications. The dimensions actually is 2.67 inches by 2.67 inches by 0.68 inches. The original Intelligo is a 3.15 by 3.15 by 0.61. So height and width is a little less. Sorry, height. <laughs> Length and width <laughs> is a little less. And the height on the IG2 is just a tad taller, but pretty much the same, but a lot smaller. The LCD screen, as you can see, is bigger on the smaller device here. And so let's see, it's a 1.6 inch LCD display. So the IG2 already booted up, the Intelligo is still going, so um, you can tell immediately that this one's a lot faster to boot up. Uh, LCD screen, as I said, was 1.6 inches. The original Intelligo is 1.4 inches. Um, of course, they're both using, let's get this one out of the way since we see the size comparison. This one is using 4G WiMAX and 3G CDMA bands. Uh, the, the weight, I forgot to mention the weight is 4.6 ounces as the original was 4.6 ounces as well. Wi-Fi protocol 802.11 BG and N. The previous version did not have the N. Uh, Wi-Fi range is up to 150 feet. External memory you can plug in a micro SD card here and it supports up to 32 gigs whereas the previous one supported up to 16. Um, battery is a 1800 milliampere hour which is a good thing because it's the same battery as before so if you're coming from the Intelligo and coming to this device you can actually use your the same battery. Uh, it's estimated at four to six hours of use and on a dead completely dead battery it takes about one point one and a half hours from to charge from a completely dead battery. Um, let's see what else we got. The power button, of course, you guys are all familiar with. This is the mute. If you turn it to the, it's a little red dot, hopefully. And this is to unmute. That's the micro SD card, as I mentioned. And then we got these two interesting. Well, that's the power micro USB connector. We got these two interesting little sliders here that display an external port. 
So uh, in the future, hopefully we're going to get the docking station which actually amplifies the signal so you get a stronger signal using those two. Um, kind of a neat thing is you can double click on the button and you can actually cycle through some of the screens so you don't have to actually go on the web to look at some of your settings. So if you keep double pressing, you go through six screens of actual info. I don't know if you can see that, but maybe I should read what it says. So the first page is connect info, second page is alerts, third page is data usage, fourth page is network status, fifth page is about the IG2, some uh, technical specs, battery info, and then the last six of six is software updates information. So kind of a neat device. Um, System requirements, Windows XP, Vista or 7, Mac OS X 10.4 or higher. Um, so we'll bring the IntelliGo back in the screen. And we can go over some of the key differences. Um, it has improved reliability and download speeds. Uh, supports the latest devices. It, like I said, it's 802.11n, which this one never had. It was only BNG. This one's BGNN. Uh, this one, I don't know if I mentioned, but this is one of the great things about it. It connects now up to eight wireless devices and one tethered device, whereas this one supported five. 16% uh, smaller, as you can see, 45% larger LCD, and we checked out the 35% faster on and off speed. So, pretty, pretty cool positives to this one. So get on out there and check it out. Actually, what, why don't we try to connect a few devices here and see how this puppy handles things. So maybe we'll start with this humongoid Galaxy Tab. So we're going to find TWC 4G Mobile E52, which is the, name of, the default name of this device. And the password is, oh dear, 13910. 705. So 13910. What did I say? 705. 705. Hope I got it correct. So we'll connect. See if this thing makes noise. Oh, I think I'm on mute. Am I on mute? So anyway, we're connected. See if I can connect to a website here. Yep, so Google pops up, so we'll put this on the side. We'll try another one. Why don't we try an Apple product? Uh, settings, Wi Fi. So we'll look for again TWC 4G Mobile. That's the default SSID. 139. 10705 139 10 Join. And we're connected. Let's find a browser. And you heard the, uh, I don't know if you can see, but now it says two connections right up here, which is the top Galaxy Tab and Site. So, I guess we'll do the same website. Google.com. So that's two. Why don't we just try uh, one more here? There's the HTC Evo 4G. I'm not going to show you my password. And then uh, let's see, Wi Fi. This one, 103, 103, 10, 705, I think, right? Obtain an IP address. Oh, it's connected to my other one.
that tipped in the wrong path. So one three nine ten seven oh five. Let's try that again. One three nine ten seven oh five. There we go. I'm connected. Hopefully it beeps here. Uh, let's try to open up the bells. So there we go, number three. So we got this Galaxy Tab, this I touch, and we'll open up the HTC Evo 4G. Uh, let's try it. and here dot com instead. Beautiful. So we got three devices on this quick little demo on the IG2 Sierra Wireless W802. And hopefully in the future we're going to push this puppy and try and get eight devices, if I can find that many, um, connected to that device. Thanks for watching. Oceanic Time Warner Cable. Uh, have a good day. Aloha.